Jason Hoppy here to show you the really simple rotate tool. Why would you need the rotate tool? I mean, can't you just select an object and hover outside the corners and rotate your object? Of course you can. Could you go into your properties panel and use your rotation command here? Sure, absolutely. What happens when you want to rotate your object around a circle? Say you want to make a sun or you want to make a flower, something like that. Well, here's what we're going to do with the rotate tool. We're going to show you how to do both sun and a flower. So I'm going to create a line here and I'm going to hot dog the ends right there. And of course, the sun is always yellow, isn't it? There we go. So we're going to make that. You know, now we're going to make the sun orange today. There it is. So what I want to do is I want to create a sun and I want to create a flower with these shapes. Now, if you've ever tried to take your objects here and kind of rotate them around to make sure that they all match each other, and get them equally spaced. This is definitely an exercise in futility, for sure, trying to get these things rotated and spaced apart here. So we're gonna show, well, actually that looks pretty good, but you get the picture. I'm gonna show you how to use the rotate tool to make this so incredibly easy. If I take an object, we're just gonna take a really simple object here at first to show you how this works. I'm gonna grab the rotate tool, which is the letter R, okay? There it is, I'm gonna grab the rotate tool. Now you'll notice when we grab the rotate tool, when we have something selected, it gets that little teeny blue crosshairs in the middle. And if I use the rotate tool simply as the rotate tool, when I have my shape selected and I choose the rotate tool, I can then get my crosshairs here and it puts the crosshairs always in the middle of my object. And then I can just go and I can rotate my object around. Okay, I don't get the little kind of the curved arrow that I normally get when I have my selection tool. So here's an interesting thing. What happens if I don't want to rotate it from the center, which is the default? So if I take my object, grab the rotate tool, and then say I click over here, that's gonna put my rotate point over there. And now when I rotate, I can rotate this all around. It's like, oh, so I don't need to rotate from the center. No, I can click anywhere on the object or off the object to go ahead and use that as my rotation point. All right, that can be interesting. So here, let's try this. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna take my line right here. And I'm gonna grab my rotate tool, but there's one thing that I'm gonna do here before I go ahead and I simply click and land that point and then pull and rotate here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say, you know what, I'd like to rotate this not around the default, which is the center of the object. I'd like to rotate it around the bottom here. But before I click and I move my rotation point there, I'm gonna hold down my option or my alt key. And you see that dot, 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 dot that shows up? That dot, 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 dot tells me that this is going to open a menu item. And you may not have known that, but if you go through any of your menus right here, anytime you see something that has that dot, 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 that tells you that a menu is going to come up to enter in something. If you just simply choose a simple thing like this, it's just gonna happen. But anything with that dot, dot, dot means dialog box coming up. So I move my cursor here, hold down my option or alt key, and when I option or alt click, what it will do is it'll move my rotation point and then it'll go in and it will bring up my rotate dialog box. I'm gonna click on the preview button and I can then go in and I can enter in any value here, say 45 degrees, and then I can click on the preview here. And I can see that I can then end, you know, rotate this at a 45 degree angle. If I choose OK, this is my result that's going to end up. But if I choose copy, it's going to not only give me my original, but it's going to copy it at a 45 degree angle. Sweet! Now if I wanted to repeat this, I'm not going to do the same thing I just did over. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do Command or Control D to simply repeat what I did before. What is that? Command or Control D? That is Object Transform Transform again. Since I had gone in and I had duplicated that line by using my rotate tool, it allowed me to rotate this around. And then once I rotate it once at the 45 degree angle, Command or Control D will just simply repeat what I've done. So that's kind of cool. All right, so I create that kind of star shape. I'm gonna copy this and I'm gonna do a sun. And I'm gonna put a circle in the middle here. Using my smart guides, I'm gonna line that up and I'm gonna put a circle in the middle. And I'd like this to go around my sun. Now the lines don't need to touch at all. They could if you want to, don't have to, but I just want the line here so it lines up. Okay, 
Now, what would I like to do? Well, I'd like to rotate this line around my circle to create the sun. So I select my shape, grab the rotate tool. Where do I want to rotate this around? Well, I don't want to rotate this around itself here. I want to rotate it around the center of my circle. And you can see, because I've drawn the circle here, I can find the center. It highlights right there. It says center, thanks to Smart Guides. And before I click and land my rotation point there, I'm going to hold down Option or Alt. Then it calls up my dialog box. Now, how many of these rays of sun would you like around this? So you want 15. Well, then you take 360 degrees divided by 15 and you get that number. Or you use your field here as your calculator. 360 degrees in a circle divided by how many shapes or how many steps, how many copies you want. Don't click the OK button because it's just going to move this here. You want to click the copy button because you want to duplicate that. Beautiful. What's 360 divided by 15? I have no idea. But with this, once I've done that and I've done my calculation, it automatically enters in the value that I need to rotate it this far. Now I use my Commander Control D to duplicate that all the way around my sun. <laughs> well, that's pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It truly is. Okay? Just like that. Now, let's go back here. I'm just going to undo this. And say you want a different number of rays of sun. Grab, select the shape, grab the rotate tool, move your cursor to where you want to rotate around, Option or Alt click, and say you want 360 and you want 20 of these. So just say 360 divided by 20. One thing you don't want to do is put in like some odd angle. So say like 17 degrees. When you put in some odd angle that doesn't equally divide into 360 degrees, what happens is when you copy this and you begin to use your Commander Control D to duplicate, you're going to come around and you're going to end up with kind of this offset because the spacing isn't the same. So whenever I go in and I rotate something using my rotate dialog box by selecting the shape, moving it to where I want to rotate, holding Option or Alt and clicking, I will always put in 360 divided by the number of objects I'd like to have. And you can see here, it's 18 degrees just by turning on and turning off the preview. Click Copy, don't click OK. And then simply use Command or Control D and you're going to get those perfectly spaced every single time. Beautiful. So there's a sun. How do you create a flower? Simple. Here's a leaf. And again, I'm going to use my rotate tool. And I don't have to have a circle here. I'm just going to put my cursor down here because I'd like to rotate not on the leaf itself, but I'd like to rotate it down here. So I'm going to choose my Option or Alt key. Click. And I choose 360 divided by how many I want. Say 10. I click Copy. And it's going to go and allow me to rotate this all around. Okay, that's pretty cool. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all these shapes here and I'm going to copy them, and then I'm going to choose Edit, Paste in Place. Okay, so now I've got an exact copy right on top of itself. I'm going to scale this down, holding down my Shift key and my Option or Alt key to scale that from the middle, and I'm going to change the color of my leaves to something slightly different. Okay, that's kind of cool. It's like, wow, alrighty, I like that. And now I can create this really cool flower. I'm going to do that again. I'm going to select these shapes that I had, select all of those, and I'm going to copy those. And I'm going to choose Edit, Paste in Place. So paste right on top. Again, hold down my Shift key and my Option or Alt key to reduce those down. And then I can choose an even darker color, and I get that. Now what happens if I'd like to go in and I'd like to rotate this shape, or these shapes here? Well, I'm going to group these all together by going under Object Group. Okay, So they're all grouped together. Then if I wanted to rotate these kind of in an interesting fashion, I could go in and just use my Rotate tool, Option or Alt click where I'd like those to go, and then I can choose, you know, 360 divided by how many I want. So maybe go in and I can just use my preview and I could rotate this a little bit around and say, you know, maybe I want 360 divided by 6. And I click Copy. And then I just hit my Command D and you can see that it'll rotate around and keep rotating those to kind of create this interesting effect. Now I've got lots of these stacked on top of each other right here, but you can use this feature to create duplicates of not just one thing, but multiple things. That could be cool. So what happens if you did this? What happens if you took this flower here, this entire flower, choose your rotate, option or alt click down here, 
and say 360 divided by 8 and copy that and duplicate that all around. Well, now you can take anything and duplicate it. It's like, well, that's pretty cool. And that's the simplicity of the rotate tool. You can choose an object or a group of objects, rotate around a specified point, create any type of duplicate numbers that you want by putting the value in the rotate field, 360 divided by how many you want. Make sure you click copy and then hit command or control D and it'll rotate those all around. So you could create just amazing circular shapes just by using the rotate tool.